Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Puntalicious. Puntalicious? Pinchitalicious. Whatever. Mix of the sports. As Tugdick continues to ride the bench as punishment from the asshole manager who isn't. It should be Bo Bochi, but for some reason it's Bautista. He's been killing it though, riding off the bench. Or coming in off the bench, whatever you want to say. Here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. This is ridiculous, though. Like, I understand, in real life, if a hitter's got an attitude, we were down 4-2, to two, bottom of the fifth, no outs. Sometimes, you bench a guy for a game or two, right? You don't bench one of your best players, who won the batting title last year, for a month. <laughs> a day or two, sure, to get your message across. Five homers, 13 RBIs. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time. The last thing they want to do is... On the plus side, Tug Dick's just been angry, so he's mostly been swinging for the fences, and he's on a record pace for home runs. He's never hit this hard before. It's all that rage. Use the power of hate inside you. You can see they're scared of him. And what does that say? Bottom of the fifth, no outs. He's a pinch hitter, and they're scared of him. It means he should be playing every day and starting. Come on, please keep going. Keep going. Yeah, it's tough off the wall there. We're just going to do a stand-up triple. And the Giants can't ask for much more. It's a leadoff triple. Yeah, this is a tricky right field to get a field. I love triples alley there, but that is the one the negative side. It's how high the wall is there. The ball caroms off the wall. He does well to get it back in as quickly as he did, but it's not in time to prevent the triple. Look at that. Woot, 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 woot. All right. Potential tying run at the plate. He was trying to get us the win, or at least the tie. Nice job by Eaton. We're only down by a run. Well, Tug Dick came in and did everything he could. Dickalicious. Hey, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. The first pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Hashtag ambush, whatever. Did we win? We did win! Tug Dick got the rally started. Is Moss still in left field? Yep, there he is. I'm sorry that we're pinch hitting. I'm having fun. I hope it's still fun to watch. We don't have really any other choice, though. Two years ago, we could have gone to the front office and said, Put us in, coach! And they might have listened. Now that they took that out of the game two years ago. Or last year, not two years ago. They took it out last year. So now we can only do that if the agent calls. We can't ever call our agent. I don't know. Obviously, I'm a little miffed about that part of the game. 15 to 6? Tug Dick really got the rally started. Most excellent. If I didn't love having him on the Giants there... I would almost ask for a trade, assuming our agent never calls. That's the other thing, we got benched. If we can't call your agent, when do you think the game developers would at least give you the opportunity to have them call you? Like the agent sees something big changes in your life, like you've been benched and he calls you. But no, let's go play the Padres. Um, we can improve bunting. Let's see, arm accuracy and fielding. Durability. I don't really care about any of that. I guess we'll upgrade fielding and arm accuracy. It kind of sucks that it's random what comes up that you can choose from. And you can also see there there's a max cap and a current cap. Whatever. <laughs> Not a fan of the new upgrade system. Nice thing though, we are still in first place. Two games ahead of the Dodgers. I don't know, what do you think? If you were the manager, wouldn't you put Tug Dick back in? Maybe it's just me that I'm partial to him. Because it's my dick after all. What? Nasty. You know what I mean. 
Uh. So it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter coming on now with a runner at first and one gone. Plus side, though, he has been huge in helping us win games coming in off the bench. We're down by a run, runner on first. One out, bottom of the seventh. Wind's blowing in from center. Nice! Right past the first baseman. I was afraid he was going to knock that down, to be honest. Nice single. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. Hey, all we needed was a hit. John Jay coming to the plate. John Jay, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Man, why is that lady leaving? It just got good. It's like, I need nachos now. Nacho alert. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball down near the shoe tops. That's the one thing when you had a ball game. Though usually I go between innings if you can. And you're like, oh, I'm going to miss a little bit of an inning. Hopefully nothing super good happens while I wait in line for food. Lifted down the line and left. Valencia trying to get there. And that will end up a foul. 1-1 one, one count. What's up, Alonzo? That's a cool name, bro. And it's fouled away. I mean that seriously, too. Alonzo's like, don't hurt my feelings. Technic's like, no, man, I'm serious. Here's a dick dance to make you happy. The one, two. Misses, ball two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. Just two, two the count. Strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitcher's pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. More dancing for you, Alonzo. And this is hit hard to the right side. But that's gonna be a little scary if you're a catcher there, because of um, where you warm out. Where you warm up, you could get hit in the back. Now a snap throw to first. You ain't gonna and stop, Tug back. Dick. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. That's all right, John Jay. Just wait for your pitch. Lifted in the air out towards. Ooh, is that gonna get down? And a diving Go, and fucker! But he can't get a oh. Comes in now. If the guy in front of us had, had more balls, we would have tied it up. You can see Tug Dick and the other guy were both almost on second at the same time. Like, it's crazy the guy who was on second. I get he's not going to go all the way to third in case it's caught. But he could have taken five steps towards third and waited to see if it was caught. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it. And he's having a real strong beginning this season. Base is loaded. Called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. I don't know why they've been drinking so loaded. Brent Belt coming to the plate, hitting 352. He's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, Come on, Brandon Belt, keep the city streak going. You just have to let that get Base is loaded. As best you can, you have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Strike one to start the at bat. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Fly ball down the field line and yeah, that's gonna get us the lead. Good job by Brandon Belt. Boom, Tug Dick was the go ahead run. Giant power. I would think next season, because Tug Dick's contract is up at the end of this season, they're going to have to pay him a lot of money. And then I would think they'd have to start him at that point, which they should be. He's won a World Series with them. We win the game again. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well. And yeah, we won five straight. Game pitching, 
fielding and hitting. Brandon Moss! What a rude, rude move. Putting his arch nemesis in his position. Put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Damon Conrad. Let's play another. And as we jump into the ball game, we've currently got a runner at second with one gone in the inning. So the sad thing is, man, look at those numbers. Tugdick will probably not make the All-Star game this year because of how long he's been on the bench. Bottom of the fifth, runner on second. We're down by three. Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. No, nah, it's time for us to come back and win. Keep our win streak alive. Might have got under it too much, I don't know. Keep going, keep going. What the hell? <laughs> the Looks like everything third. slowed down and sped up. Wah, wah, wah. Now, hey, we advanced the runner to third. Hopefully someone else can get him home. Nice job to track that one down in the alley because it definitely saved the run from scoring. Instead, he's only able to move up to third. takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. did we win? No, we lost to the Padres. I blame the coach. they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home. I would assume that Tug Dick is going to go back in a game like that and wreck part of the clubhouse. <laughs> He's got time. He can go in there ahead of everyone else and just start smashing shit and then leave. Be like, I didn't do it, coach. Suck a dick. Is this another training day? So, uh, we can work in bunting. We can increase uh, base running aggressiveness. I don't really care about that. Fielding has a current cap. When it says current cap there for the top on fielding, there's a max cap, and below it is the current cap, so we have to raise current caps for that. Um, I don't know. All of this is garbage. I guess we'll raise durability. How does he get stronger? Do people punch him just to show he can take it? And there you can see the current cap, how they're below the max caps. I've said it before, but this system sucks. <laughs> I miss the old system. The concept for the new system isn't bad, but the execution has been horrible. Look at that, Tug Dick hitting 382. And he's still on the bench. There is no way Moss is hitting better than him. We're three and a half games up on the Dodgers. I do like being in first place. Man, I'm getting mad at this team, though. I think Tug Dick's getting mad at this team. Come on, Giants. He helped you get to two World Series, and, and this is how you treat him. Hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. Oh, that looks like a side armor. We're up four to two against Atlanta. Left fielder, Tug Dick. Come on, get down. Nice single. Does this say cola? Cola on the right field wall? <laughs> I think it does. It's supposed to be Coca-Cola, but obviously they don't want to advertise for Coke. No free ads. You can see that over the right. Cola-Cola. Man, don't you love a refreshing drink of cola-cola? I don't know. It's got a little too much cola in it for me. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And the runner back safely. Second base will be the Dicks. Hey, right guy, right place. Here we go. The Dick is free. <laughs> Pitch outside the throw. I wonder if Tug Dick, when he hits some ladies, is like, hey, baby, you want a dick pic? And she's like, ew, no. And he just met a picture of himself. A lot of pitches don't throw over His own dick, that is. Wah, wah, wah. First movement, and it worked out nicely. Whee! You know what? Fuck it. Tug Dick's going for third. He doesn't even care if he gets thrown out now. He is so pissed at the damn manager. Whatever. You gonna complain about the way he, I play baseball? Well, I'm just gonna play it my way. Take a picture of the last locker. Long, 
stuff. <laughs> Second dick! <laughs> and the runner's breaking for third. Strike called. Now Safe. Now there's stolen base. His aggressiveness pays base. off. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that. Especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it to him. Truth is, Tug Dick needs to do all that he can, though, if he wants to stay in first place for stolen bases, considering he gets one at bat at most a game. One and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? I'm not though. I, I know I'm complaining to some. I am really mad at the game developers. Like, why would you take out the ability to talk to the front office? Even if they refuse to put him in. We should be able to talk to the front office about going back in. Or we should be able to call our agent and complain. Like, it's bad programming by them not to at least give you one of those options. The one two. I guarantee in real life. He strikes out, unfortunately. If you're a big player, you can call your agent and complain about stuff. Not in this game. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive? Trying to get some insurance runs right here. To get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Get that dick home. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Man, he's at 351. He's having a good year. Speaking of which. We can see Moss. Moss is hitting 244. Look at that. You can see on the left side, he's hitting 244, and he's starting in left field. Tug Dick, who's hitting 380 something, is on the bench. All the more reason to hate Moss. Lifted the other way out to left center. Upton on the move. We're going for it. He makes the running play. Two down. You cannot catch the dick. Got another run. From third, it's five to two. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield. Good job by Jay. Third, he chance. did what he needed to do there. I think that was Moss coming up to the plate. The man called on to close. And we win again. <laughs> I cannot believe. Tug Dick cannot believe that Moss is hitting 244 and he's playing his position. You can see Moss right there jumping around. Dick, every time his brother like, oh, those are my friends to jump with. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. Let's play another. We welcome you into our ball game as we find ourselves with the bases empty and nobody out in the inning. Pinch hitter fest. I'm amazed the coach hasn't talked to us yet. He's hitting 390. Maybe we should try and hit a home run here. Fuck it. We're up 9 to 2, top of the seventh. Here's the nothing and nothing. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting. Fontaine. He's got a cool name. Oh, you can get generic insurance in right field, apparently. I love generic insurance. Good fucking bye. Right Tug Dick don't even care. He's like, normally he plays to get on and do something, you know? He tries to be a contact hitter. But now it's just is like fuck it. I'm just gonna hit it for a the fences. Here right <laughs> home run number six, six I think, on the year. For him, as this lead I think he had 15 now. all of last year. And that's our coach. You did a good job, Dick. Oh, fuck you, <laughs> Dickalicious. What's up, Jay, my man? He's like I'm gonna go get high. <laughs> so that was the third home run for these guys today. You know, d -Row looks like the he's probably just going to go drink a bunch of booze and eat some hot dogs now. <laughs> and we win again. Keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. Ten to six, the final score in this. That's game. my silent Seven rage right now. Giants. Every time Jump I see Moss in left field. First and never look back. Alex Wood, 
Takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Fernando Morella permitted. Uh, who's player of the game? Is it going to say? In the losing effort. So that oh, I just moved it too fast. Well, why don't we go take a look at where we are in the standings? Tug Dick had a good game. I think maybe I should just have him swing for the fences no matter what until he gets to start again. His average will drop some. He's got nothing to lose. A player is called to question by his manager on his base running of late. Uh, Tug, my attention has been drawn to your base stealing frequency. I am sure don't remember issuing steal signals that many times. I'm giving you a permanent green light, did I? Are you fucking kidding me? He's probably the steals leader in all of baseball right now. Despite the fact he's only pinch hitting. Are you serious, Skip? I've been killing him. Haven't had a little perverse fun with the young speedster. The manager strikes a jovial tone. Ah, uh, just messing with you. Ah, uh, good gracious, your numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, and they'd be better, dipshit. Coach dipshit. If you'd let me actually play and start, I got jets and I gotta use them, bitch. Tug Dick's got nothing but attitude. Now, you understand you gotta have situational awareness, right? Whatever, yes, sir. Suck dick. Even the best bag snatchers need to know when to exercise restraint. That's true. If you're snatching bags, you gotta know when to have restraint. <laughs> yeah, you can't be risking making that last out at third. Uh, or getting picked off when we need multiple runs in a game. I can count on you to be smart of it, right? I got a quick mind too, dipshit. Satisfied that the player can be trusted with the responsibility, the manager grants him a standing green light to bolt. Okay, then do what you do. You're a dangerous weapon out there. Be more dangerous if I could start. <laughs> I don't blame Tug Dick for having an attitude at all. What was the hit? Look at the back of the plane. You can see Tug Dick in the kind of very top, a little bit right. Behind him in the last row, look at the bald guy. Hitman's on our flight. So we look at our standings. We are five games up on the Dodgers right now. Reds, Pirates, and Cardinals are all tied for first in the National League Central. In the East, the Nationals are up by six and a half games. Moving on to the American League, the Rangers are up by four games in the West. The Royals and Tigers are tied in the Central. Go Tigers! In the East, the Yankees are up by six games. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. I'm still furious they've not put them back to start. I can't believe the coach is on this team. He's got probably the best batting average of anyone on the team. In fact, can we look at team... Can we look at team stats? Okay, so if we look at batting average... Oh, did I do it the wrong way? There we go, sorry. Tug Dick has got the number one batting average on the team. The number three on base percentage. Look at his slugging percentage. It's crazy. He's number one for triples. He's not going to be for doubles. And obviously, uh, there's still one bases on here. His percentage. No, actually, I know where we'll go. <laughs> uh, league leaders. If we go to stolen bases. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's number six. He's not number one in the league. Of course, the reason he's not number one in the league is he only gets one at bat a game. Otherwise, he'd be number one like he was last year. So he's doing pretty good. Six is pretty impressive considering how often or how little he gets into games. <laughs> I can't believe the coach was like, meh, 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 about how he runs bases. I'm having fun, though, despite my complaining. I hope you are, too. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.